Hey guys, it's Julie Weisenberg, Jedi Julie. Um, some of you have me as your live Pio fitness instructor uh, in class, and some of you might be my virtual um, clients online. So welcome. I just want to actually take a few minutes to give you some demonstrations of modifications for Pio. And I think this is really important because sometimes when you get caught up in the movement of the class, the pace of the class, sometimes there's a tendency to like want to keep up with everyone else. But if your body is telling you something different, then it's really important to have these modifications in the back of your head. And then this way you can just go into them. And when you feel a little bit more confident and ready, you can go back to doing the standard version. So one of the things that we do in Pio, there is one section, which you guys know is the most intense section and that's called the power section. It's usually about three to four minutes long, but again, you've built up through warm up and then heat building and then doing lower body. So your heart rate is up. And then we kind of culminate at that top point in the class where we do the three minute power section. And those usually involve burpees, right? So burpees, um, really engage your core and they ask a lot of you to sort of like spring your feet back. And sometimes people may have injuries. Um, they may not have the stamina to do that. And so I want to make sure again, that you have the modification to do. So first I'm going to demonstrate for you a standard burpee. Okay. So the way we do it in Pio is we are at a point where we already have our feet spread, like in a triangle, we place our hands down on the mat and then we jump back. Right? So we kind of jump back like that. You see how my feet went back and then we really engage that core and we jump forward like this. And then we come up. Okay. And in some cases in Pi, we even bring our feet together. Let me show that to you again. So we start right here. Our feet are apart. We put our hands down, we jump back and then we engage everything together really tight and squeeze our abs and we pull together and we do it again. Now I'm going to show you the modified version. So there's two ways. Some students in my class will step back like so one foot back, other foot back, right foot forward, left foot forward, and then they just step together. Let me show you that again. Starting with your feet apart already. Step back, slowly step the right foot back, then the left foot, then the right foot front comes forward, and then the left, and then you step together. Another version would be, you could step back in a lunge and just bring your hand forward, okay? You could also keep your left hand on your knee. So again, watch. You can step back, step the other foot back again, left foot lunge, right foot. Okay. So there you have a modification for standard burpee and the modified version. Okay. During the power section of Pio, sometimes we do a move that involves a little bit of a jump either on the ball of our foot or if we're doing like volcano jumps. So I want you to remember what I taught you before that anytime you don't want to increase your heart rate, you'll just remove some of that movement. So for example, if we're doing volcano and the rest of the students, right, are going to be what? Putting a little jump to it, little jump. You would simply stay right here. You can either rise up and go down without the jump. So you're just going to eliminate that jump or you can stay right here. Again, so standard would be to what? Push up, right? Versus just hovering right here or even staying stagnant and not moving or just pushing up and eliminate the jump. Okay, one more demonstration. I have the camera really down here so you can be right at mat level, eye level with me to see what I'm doing. So I wanted to show you the modifications for the push up that happen in the beginning sessions of Pio, especially during total body fusion. So you can do a modified tricep push up instead of a regular one. So when we go down here, right, if you don't want to do the, the regular push up where you come down like this, okay, you can do a modified one. So you just drop your knees down and you can even lift your toes and then just do the modified tricep push up. We typically do four in that session. Okay. So again, you can do the regular or you can have your knees dropped to a modified version. Another modification I'd like to show you is side plank. So we're going to go from a split down dog and then we're going to weave our foot through to a plank. And I want to show you a modification in that if you're feeling like being in this, in the side plank is too much for you, you can always drop your knee down. So let me show you what that looks like. So we start in the split down dog, right? So we're like this, 
and then we're going to take our right leg and we're going to weave it through. We don't stack our feet on top of each other, but we put them side by side. Okay, so here I have my feet side by side, okay? Now the standard version would be to have your feet side by side, right, lateral, and you just hold it and look up at your hand. But this is asking a lot of your upper body strength, right? So if you're feeling a little bit challenged, all you do is you see my, my right leg leg here, I'm gonna drop my knee down. So now my knee is down on the mat and I can give myself a little bit more support for side plank. Sometimes for a beginner in Pio, it's a little bit challenging to keep your leg up in split down dog. And I know for me that was the case when I was a new student of Pio, like more than two years ago. I swear to you that I could not even hold my leg up in split down dog for like more than two seconds. So it's a matter of just giving yourself time and building the flexibility and the strength. So during class, if you're ever feeling like you can't keep your leg up in the split down dog, you can simply stay in down dog. So for example, we would just stay right here in down dog rather than trying to lift your leg up in split down dog. Okay, another rule of thumb for pile class. Just remember that anytime you have your hands engaged, your arms, and you're having wider and broader movements, especially with your arm going over your head, that is gonna automatically bring your heart rate up, right? So you wanna keep that in mind if, for example, you know, you have a tender shoulder or you have an upper body injury or you're just not feeling the stamina that night or you're feeling a little bit weaker, you can always drop out the hands and not get that movement engaged. So I'm gonna give you an example. During the warm up, right, we have that one move. I'm gonna turn my mat around. So during the warm up in Pio, we have that move where we step out to the side in a lunge, right? And we put our, place our hands on our thigh and we sort of come up and down, right? And then what do we do? We take that left arm, right? And we bring it over our head and back, right? We come up again, over. So if that's feeling a little bit too much for you, just don't engage the arm. So when everyone else is bringing their arm up, you can just stay right here, okay? You also don't have to go down as far. So if you wanna come up a little bit and be about here, that's fine. If you're feeling ambitious, you can sink lower.